so cute that I want to kind of bite into it. <laughs> we got this in Sydney for half the price. I actually did not buy this one, but I wanted this one. What's up, YouTube? I'm David. Hi, everyone. I'm Kathleen. And welcome to Out of Box Collector. If this is your first time here, welcome. I hope you come back again. So please like, subscribe, or share this video to someone who you think would enjoy it. So we have something huge for you today. Yes. Literally. literally. <laughs> <laughs> we will be showing you our 10-inch collection so far. Yeah. We don't have a lot, but yeah. this is quite... A bit. <laughs> Let's start the reveal of our collection. So uh, first, uh, what's it go? you go first. Okay, first 10 inch is Dobby. <laughs> <laughs> so this one. <laughs> okay, so we we got this box in. We got this pop in TV games. games when we went to uh, Sydney, Australia. And I wasn't actually planning to buy anything there. But when yes. I when I saw it, I just had to have it because I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. Yes. <laughs> and okay, so I have been I've actually been seeing this in the stores here, but I've never gotten around to buying it because it's really expensive. Yeah. And um, we got this in Sydney for half the price. Yeah. <laughs> so we, when 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 I saw it there, I didn't think twice, and yeah. I just immediately bought it. So this particular Dobby Pop is the one where he's holding the sock. The sock. Um, th this one has a, a regular sized version, mm -hmm. and it's actually quite big compared to the other. <laughs> Boxes of uh, 10 inch figures. Yes. But when I we, think it's because of his ears. Yeah, so we actually thought we didn't know how to bring it home because it's, it's so big. big. But I, but we managed to bring him home. So Luckily, we have a, we <laughs> had an extra luggage. Oh, yeah, yeah. We purposely we... brought an extra big <laughs> luggage for for that trip. Because we know that we'll be buying uh, pops there and stuff. So yeah. that came in handy. Um, first one. First one. So I'll put the box here. Okay. The next one is uh, Target Dog. Okay. So we actually missed out on buying the regular Target Dog when that was released. Yeah. Yeah. And then when they when Funko announced that they'll be releasing a 10 inch one, we didn't hesitate on pre-ordering this. <laughs> so. <laughs> Thank you for our friend uh, who got this one for us. So we woke this up for us. And it looks so cute in real life. I think if, if you like dogs, if you love dogs, if you're a dog person, this is a great figure to get. It is also from the Ad Icons line. Yeah. So if you're, if you're collecting the Ad Icons line, I think this is a must have. Yeah, so it's so cute. Uh, it's fairly inexpensive too. So I think it's worth every peso if you'll buy one. It's so cute. The nose is big. It even has this uh, color. This red color. Because we are dog people, so, <laughs> so we, we just had to get this one. Next. The target dog. <laughs> Bullseye. Uh, here's Bullseye, the target dog. Okay, so the next one is Hedwig. Another one from the Harry Potter line. And this one is... Um, we actually got it before. Before it was, <laughs> it was released. It was released. Yeah. Uh, we bought it from one of our trusty sellers here. Yeah. He just asked me if I needed a uh, Hedwig Pop, cause, a Hedwig 10 inch, because he knows I'm a Harry Potter collector. So there, this, there, there's also a regular sized version of Hedwig. Yeah, so there are two regular sized versions, one flop and one uh, not flop. Yes, yeah, so there's um, 
<laughs> this is the details yeah. of Hedwig. Has uh, you will see the his feathers, yeah. her feathers. Yeah. Wait, this is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I just know that she's an it's an owl. So yeah. There. I think it would be um, more awesome if this was locked. Yeah. Because the the regular size one has a block number. I think all the animals should be flocked. <laughs> also target that should be flocked 10 inch. But it's okay. So the next 10 inch is another animal. <laughs> the, a, the Porg from Star Wars. I actually did not buy this one. But I won this one <laughs> during the Funko Fanatic PH Christmas party last year. So I entered the... Funko Pop custom making contest. So my entry was uh, the villain from TMNT Crack. And I was actually chosen as one of the five winners during that event. And this is my prize, so I really like it. It's actually a bubble head, which is really cute. <laughs> It comes, with a stand. it comes in the stand with Star Wars on it, and you can't remove it. And it looks amazing. It's really <laughs> funny when you put it on your desk because it's, it's actually looking at you all the time. <laughs> and I think this is one of the best uh, tennis figures that you can get right now, together with the others. <laughs> the rest. So, yeah. This one is Pennywise from It. Chapter 2. Yes. Well, we were also not planning on buying this. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we just saw this on the shelf. And uh, we had to take it home. It's so awesome. I had actually given up my horror, horror line. I used to collect horror pops, but I. Um, had to let go of it, and we don't have a regular size uh, Pennywise. But Actually, we don't have any other Pennywise uh, figures. But when we saw it, it just looked so awesome and scary. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this particular pop is from the upcoming movie It Chapter Two. Yeah. It's coming out next month. Mm -hmm. I have an un unboxing and review of this pop. Uh, I'll be linking it. I'll put a link here, up here, if you want to watch it. So, yeah. But, so, the next one is Stay Puff from Ghostbusters uh, movie. This is uh, from the latest wave of Ghostbusters pop. So, this is based on the movie, and it absolutely looks awesome. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't able to pre-order this pop because there because I couldn't find where to get one. But on when it was released here, I was lucky enough to get it. I was luck, one of the lucky ones to get it first uh, at the bars when it was released. It's so cute. There's a six-inch figure for this, but this one is so much better. It's so big, it's so cute, it's so nice. It, it's so good, it's so cute that I want to kind of bite into it. <laughs> but uh, it really looks amazing on the shelf. Yeah. Okay. So far, this is our 10 inch figures, but we're looking to add more because yes. these things aren't cheap. <laughs> so we kind of have to pace ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been looking forward to buying the Nickler. One. Yeah, the big one. It's actually, it's actually and very cute. Less. Yeah, it's less. Yeah, it feels less. And I wanted to buy uh, Wicket, the one from oh, Star okay. Wars. It's really cute also. So which is your favorite among our collection? Um, I'm kind of biased with Dobby <laughs> and Wig because okay, just Harry Potter one. is my favorite. Just choose one. Uh, but, okay. Um, <laughs> if we're going to talk about the details and the overall look of the pop, I would have to go with Pennywise. Sorry, I'm going to 
<laughs> okay. Because um, among all of these, I think Pennywise, the details of Pennywise is the most spot on. Yeah. And, and his presence on the shelf is just, you really wouldn't miss it. When you look at him on a shelf, he is probably one of the first things that you'll see. Mm -hmm. yeah. Might give you nightmares. Yeah. It's so awesome. Yeah. So this is your pick or do you want to pick one for as your personal favorite? <laughs> this is my pick. Okay, this is your pick. So mine will be Stay Pop because I grew up uh, watching Ghostbusters and this is my, one of my favorite cartoons of all time. Uh, of course, next Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And it really looks amazing. Uh, it's spot on, and then and it, the scale. If you have the Ghostbusters pops, it scales pretty. It, it scales pretty well because it's big. But of course, it has to be bigger because Marshmallow Man is as big as a building. So, <laughs> but anyway, for me, uh, this is my favorite, and of course, Pennywise too. <laughs> yeah. So that sums up our. 10 inch collection so far. Yes. Of course, we'll be adding into it. And uh, what 10 inch figure do you want to see Funko make next? Uh, since I'm a Harry Potter collector, <laughs> I'd like to see a 10 inch box. 10 inch block box pop. I want to see next. I want them to make the four Ninja Turtles uh, 10 inch. Wow. I'm going to buy all of them, of course, for sure. Because I think they will look amazing in big form. So I, I hope Funko creates them sometime in the future. So, how about you? What 10 inch figure do you want to see in the future? And which of among these pops is your favorite among the ones that we showed you now? Uh, which one do you have? Which one is your favorite also? From your collection. From your collection. You can share it with us in the comments below. Yes. I just want to add one more. If you're going to buy a 10 inch pop, take them out of the box because I think they were meant to be displayed this way because they look amazing. Even if they are selling this uh, 10 inch pop protectors, I really think that you should let them out of your boxes because they will surely look great on your shelves. Yes, of course, space is. Uh, one thing that you would have to consider. Yes. Make space for these. Yes. Also, the boxes of these uh, pops are quite big. Yes. So it's really difficult to display on a case or on a shelf because it's going to take massive space. I think uh, if you put them, if you display them like this, you can just throw the boxes out to, to make more space so you can buy more pops. <laughs> Or maybe just fold or them. Keep or them somewhere. Keep them somewhere, fold them. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, that's it for our 10 inch roundup. Thank you so much for watching our video once again. Please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Follow us also on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you very much again. And don't forget free your pops, pops and box your toys. toys.